What is up my planting people? My name is Lithius and welcome to Roots Ready. Breaking news, my Fictus trees are dying or they will be dead if I don't do something quickly. Basically, I just got home from work, had a look at my plants and I realized something wasn't quite right. Most of the plants near my windows have been drying up really, really quickly uh, because it's been super, super warm. I've got the fan on right now as well. And I looked in my, uh, this plant in particular, my fiddle leaf fig, um, picked it up and I noticed that there was still water and this plant usually is quite thirsty um, in my experience anyway. Uh, so I was like, okay, something's not right. This plant was doing really, really well uh, at the start of spring, grew basically all of these leaves. Everything above here is brand new leaves. Then it completely ground to a halt after this little leaf over here. So I knew something wasn't quite right. Anyway, I picked it up out of the pot and I could smell death. Uh, it didn't smell very nice. It smelled a little bit like sulfur, if you've ever smelled that. Um, and I knew that that is the sign of a root rot. So I need to act and I need to act right now. I also decided to check all my other ones. I've got two other uh, uh, rubber trees. So I've got this one over here, which is the Taniki, uh, the variegated one. Uh, I checked this one, has a little bit of a smell, not as bad as the fiddle leaf fig, but still. So I'm gonna also repot this one. And to be on the safe side, I'm gonna repot this bad boy over here this huge one, so that's going to be <laughs> a bit of a task and not something I was expecting to do. Um, but let's get right into it. I should say that all of these plants are living in pond and I have them in a semi-hydro setup. So they're sitting in a little bit of water um, and they just slowly absorb that. Um, however, all of these plants have actually grown past the pond and their roots are just submerged in the water pretty much all of the time. So that I think is a contributing factor. Um, these plants have been doing really, really well. What, before I transferred this one into pond, it was literally this big, like just this, and it shot up all of this. So this video isn't at all saying that pond is bad for your plants or your fictus trees. Um, it is saying that I noticed that there was an issue and I'm resolving that. So I'm still gonna be using a soil-free mix, but I'm gonna be using coca coir. And this is what I'm gonna be using today. It is a 40 litre brick of coca coir. Interestingly enough though, I found one of these on Amazon for 15.99. Went into Wilco in the UK. This whole thing, the same amount, 3.99. Shop around guys. So here we go. So as you can see here, I've got a really good soil texture. When I squeeze it, it doesn't stay compressed. It's still very crumbly. That is wonderful. I'm gonna add a bit of pond in just for a bit of extra drainage. So I'm just gonna add some pond in just like so. And I'm gonna give that a good mix. Okay. So when you squeeze it, you can see it just, it doesn't hold its shape it just it just goes back so that's gonna that indicates really really good uh aeration so that's that's enough for now the next up i'm going to take the soil out of the current pot and you can see look at that lots of roots just hanging down at the bottom there and these are like completely black yeah so there's no good no good so I'm, i like to give my pot a bit of a squeeze Okay, to loosen things up a little bit. Yeah, look at that. It's not great, is it? And I'm just gonna try to loosen up 
and remove a lot of the bad roots at the bottom as I do so. As you can see, there's still some good white roots. But those that have been sitting in the water, yeah, no good at all. Okay, so I'm gonna cut off some of these rotted roots at the bottom over here. Just like so, quite a few actually. So I've gotten rid of this many roots. So that's about a quarter maybe. Uh, there's probably still a few more that I can take off, uh, but I don't think it's completely necessary at this point. What I am gonna do, however, is I'm gonna spray just the roots with some hydrogen peroxide diluted with some water just to kill off any unwanted bacteria that could spread and cause further root rot. I'm just gonna give it a good spray. Really, really good spray. Perfect. So that's it, one down, two to go. Here are the roots of the variegated ficus Taniki. Again, it's a similar story with the roots at the bottom having the most severe damage. So again, I'm just going to get rid of those as best as I can and then get rid of the pond as well. <laughs> it's great to see that this little leaf rooted up. <laughs> Look at that really really well look at all of those roots you can clearly see the section that is rotted and as i said this one had a slightly better smell compared to the other but still not great so to avoid any further damage just going to clean it up that's it it doesn't need any more than that Give it a little spray of hydrogen peroxide, like so. That's it. And here's the big boy. Look at that, three huge plants in here. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. Same principle as always. This time I think I may need to stand. Give the pot a bit of a squeeze oh. on all sides. Look at that, lovely. So let's give it a shake. That's it, there we have it. These roots still look really good actually. I don't think this one needed to be switched over, but we're here now, let's do it. The same principles apply. I'm just going to go through the roots, remove anything that's not good. Oh, look at this steak. This was the part of the bamboo steak. But, you know, being sat in water for all that time hasn't been very kind to it. And now we're going to start potting these up. So as always, I start with a layer of soil on the bottom. I like to position my plant like so. I think that's a good height. Why not? I'll go ahead and stick the, the single leaf cutting in there as well seeing as they've been living together for a little while now. And then you want to backfill with some soil, your good potting soil. Give it a good squeeze, nice little press down. Okay, there you go. That's one plant potted up and now onto the next. Okay, next up, again, start off so soil on the bottom, get your plant situated like so. And then we want to backfill. This one's easier because there aren't any leaves at the bottom. So I can just really get this in there. I need just a little bit more pond in here. Just like so. Good mix. And then press it down to hold that plant up right just like so 
Same principle as always. Start with a layer of soil on the bottom. Grab the plant. Okay. Position it into the pot. Granted that this pot might be a, probably, it could go up a size or two at this point. But because this plant is going to go through quite a big shock change, uh, you know, into new substrate, I'd rather just keep it in this pot for now because I can control the water in a bit more this way. And we backfill. Boom, this leaf was in your way. There you go, boom, all done, nice and potted up. Yo, I am sweating, <laughs> but it's done. It's a hot day and I'm glad I got it done. That is now three plants repotted, one huge one. It's not even three, it's basically five because there's three in this pot and then two other ones. So. Um, I'm going to get these watered in and I'm going to put them back in a place with good decent sunlight and then yeah just leave them to it and then I'm going to follow a routine of watering these when they're maybe about 60 to 70 percent dry. I know these plants don't like to sit with really wet roots when they're in soil. Uh, pond is a different thing altogether because there's a lot of aeration in there um, but in soil there's a slightly different care. To it and i'll update you guys uh once i get a hang of that um as i said at the start of this video this is not about saying that pond isn't great for your uh for your fictus trees because they worked really well for me for almost two years um and it's only recently i don't know what i did i must have done something wrong uh <laughs> um but yeah uh, it, it, it it has worked really well my plants have really responded well to them they've grown they've shot up um but just for now to be on the safe side so I don't lose any of them, I decided to move them back into soil. Let me know what your thoughts are on this process. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get a nice cold drink to cool off. But as always, keep planting. <music>